Section 15 of the Poetical Works of John Dryden, Volume 1, by John Dryden. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Religio Laici, or A Layman's Faith, an Epistle. Dim as the borrowed beams of moon and stars to lonely, weary, wandering travellers is reason to the soul. And as on high those rolling fires discover but the sky, not light us here, so reason's glimmering ray was lent not to assure our doubtful way but guide us upward to a better day and as those nightly tapers disappear when day's bright lord ascends our hemisphere so pale grows reason at religion's sight so dies and so dissolves in supernatural light some few whose lamp shone brighter have been led from cause to cause to nature's secret head and found that one first principle must be but what, or who, that universal he? Whether some soul encompassing this ball, unmade, unmoved, yet making, moving all, or various atoms interfering dance leapt into form, the noble work of chance, or this great all was from eternity, not even the stagirite himself could see, and Epicurus guessed as well as he, as blindly groped they for a future state, as rashly judged of providence and fate. But least of all could their endeavours find what most concerned the good of humankind, for happiness was never to be found, but vanished from them like enchanted ground. One thought content the good to be enjoyed. This every little accident destroyed. The wiser madmen did for virtue toil, a thorny or at best a barren soil. In pleasure some their glutton souls would steep, but found their line too short, the well too deep and leaky vessels which no bliss could keep. Thus anxious thoughts in endless circles roll, without a centre where to fix the soul. In this wild maze their vain endeavours end. How can the less, the greater comprehend? Or finite reason reach infinity? For what could fathom God were more than he? The deist thinks he stands on firmer ground, cries Eureka, the mighty secrets found. God is that spring of good, supreme and best, we made to serve, and in that service blessed. If so, some rules of worship must be given, distributed alike to all by heaven. Else God were partial, and to some denied the means his justice should for all provide. This general worship is to praise and pray, one part to borrow blessings, one to pay. And when frail nature slides into offence, the sacrifice for crimes is penitence. Yet since the effects of providence we find are variously dispensed to humankind, that vice triumphs and virtue suffers here, a brand that sovereign justice cannot bear, our reason prompts us to a future state, the last appeal from fortune and from fate, where God's all righteous ways will be declared, the bad meet punishment, the good reward. Thus man by his own strength to heaven would soar, and would not be obliged to God for more. Vain wretched creature, how art thou misled to think thy wit these godlike notions bred? These truths are not the product of thy mind, but dropped from heaven, and of a nobler kind. Revealed religion first informed thy sight, and reason saw not till faith sprung the light. Hence all thy natural worship takes the source. Tis revelation what thou think'st discourse. Else how comest thou to see these truths so clear, which so obscure to heathens did appear? Not Plato these, nor Aristotle found, nor he whose wisdom oracles renowned. Hast thou a wit so deep, or so sublime, or canst thou lower dive, or higher climb? Canst thou by reason more of Godhead know than Plutarch, Seneca, or Cicero? Those giant wits, in happier ages born, when arms and arts did Greece and Rome adorn, knew no such system, no such piles could raise of natural worship built on prayer and praise to one sole God nor did remorse to expiate sin prescribe, but slew their fellow creatures for a bribe. The guiltless victim groaned for their offence, and cruelty and blood was penitence. If sheep and oxen could atone for men, ah, at how cheap a rate the rich might sin! And great oppressors might heaven's wrath beguile, by offering his own creatures for a spoil. Darest thou, poor worm, offend infinity, and must the terms of peace be given by thee? Then thou art justice in the last appeal, thy easy God instructs thee to rebel. 
and like a king remote and weak must take what satisfaction thou art pleased to make but if there be a power too just and strong to wink at crimes and bear unpunished wrong look humbly upward see his will disclose the forfeit first and then the fine impose a mulct thy poverty could never pay had not eternal wisdom found the way and with celestial wealth supplied thy store his justice makes the fine his mercy quits the score see god descending in thy human frame the offended suffering in the offender's name all thy misdeeds to him imputed see and all his righteousness devolved on thee for granting we have sinned and that the offence of man is made against omnipotence some price that bears proportion must be paid and infinite with infinite be weighed see then the day is lost remorse for vice not paid or paid inadequate in price what further means can reason now direct or what relief from human wit expect that shows us sick and sadly are we sure still to be sick till heaven reveal the cure if then heaven's will must needs be understood which must if we want cure and heaven be good let all records of will revealed be shown with scripture all in equal balance thrown and our one sacred book will be that one proof needs not here for whether we compare that impious idle superstitious ware of rites lustrations offerings which before in various ages various countries bore with christian faith and virtues we shall find none answering the great ends of humankind but this one rule of life that shows us best how god may be appeased and mortals blessed whether from length of time its worth we draw the word is scarce more ancient than the law heaven's early care prescribed for every age first in the soul and after in the page or whether more abstractedly we look or on the writers or the written book whence but from heaven could men unskilled in arts in several ages born in several parts weave such agreeing truths or how or why should all conspire to cheat us with a lie unasked their pains ungrateful their advice starving their gain and martyrdom their price if on the book itself we cast our view concurrent heathens prove the story true the doctrine miracles which must convince for heaven in them appeals to human sense and though they prove not they confirm the cause when what is taught agrees with nature's laws then for the style majestic and divine it speaks no less than god in every line commanding words whose force is still the same as the first fiat that produced our frame all faiths beside or did by arms ascend or sense indulged has made mankind their friend this only doctrine does our lust suppose unfed by nature's soil in which it grows cross to our interests curbing sense and sin oppressed without and undermined within it thrives through pain its own tormentors tires and with a stubborn patience still aspires to what can reason such effects assign transcending nature but to laws divine which in that sacred volume are contained sufficient clear and for that use ordained but stay the deist here will urge anew no supernatural worship can be true because a general law is that alone which must to all and everywhere be known a style so large as not this book can claim nor aught that bears revealed religion's name tis said the sound of a messiah's birth is gone through all the habitable earth but still that text must be confined alone to what was then inhabited and known and what provision could from thence accrue to indian souls and worlds discovered new in other parts it helps that ages past the scriptures there were known and were embraced till sin spread once again the shades of night what's that to these who never saw the light of all objections this indeed is chief to startle reason stagger frail belief we grant tis true that heaven from human sense has hid the secret paths of providence but boundless wisdom boundless mercy may find even for those bewildered souls a way if from his nature foes may pity claim much more may strangers who ne'er heard his name and though no name be for salvation known but that of his eternal son alone who knows how far transcending goodness can extend the merits of that son to man who knows what reasons may his mercy lead or ignorance invincible may plead not only charity bids hope the best but more the great apostle has expressed 
that if the gentiles whom no law inspired by nature did what was by law required they who the written rule had never known were to themselves both rule and law alone to nature's plain indictment they shall plead and by their conscience be condemned or freed most righteous doom because a rule revealed is none to those from whom it was concealed then those who followed reason's dictates right lived up and lifted high their natural light with socrates may see their maker's face while thousand rubric martyrs want a place nor does it balk my charity to find the egyptian bishop of another mind for though his creed eternal truth contains tis hard for man to doom to endless pains all who believed not all his zeal required unless he first could prove he was inspired then let us either think he meant to say this faith where published was the only way or else conclude that arius to confute the good old man too eager in dispute flew high and as his christian fury rose damned all for heretics who durst oppose thus far my charity this path has tried a much unskilful but well-meaning guide yet what they are even these crude thoughts were bred by reading that which better thou hast read thy matchless author's work which thou my friend by well translating better dost commend those youthful hours which of thy equals most in toys have squandered or in vice have lost those hours hast thou to nobler use employed and the severe delights of truth enjoyed witness this weighty book in which appears the crabbed toil of many thoughtful years spent by thy author in the sifting care of rabbin's old sophisticated ware from gold divine which he who well can sort may afterwards make algebra a sport a treasure which if country curates buy they junius and tremelius may defy save pains in various readings and translations and without hebrew make most learned quotations a work so full with various learning fraught so nicely pondered yet so strongly wrought as nature's height and art's last hand required as much as man could compass uninspired where we may see what errors have been made both in the copiers and translators trade how jewish popish interests have prevailed and where infallibility has failed for some who have his secret meaning guessed have found our author not too much a priest for fashion's sake he seems to have recourse to pope and councils and traditions force but he that old traditions could subdue could not but find the weakness of the new if scripture though derived from heavenly birth has been but carelessly preserved on earth if god's own people who of god before knew what we know and had been promised more in fuller terms of heaven's assisting care and who did neither time nor study spare to keep this book untainted unperplexed let in gross errors to corrupt the text omitted paragraphs embroiled the sense with vain traditions stopped the gaping fence which every common hand pulled up with ease what safety from such brushwood helps as these if written words from time are not secured how can we think have oral sounds endured which thus transmitted if one mouth has failed immortal lies on ages are entailed and that some such have been is proved too plain if we consider interest church and gain oh but says one tradition set aside where can we hope for an unerring guide for since the original scripture has been lost all copies disagreeing maimed the most or christian faith can have no certain ground or truth in church tradition must be found such an omniscient church we wish indeed twere worth both testaments cast in the creed but if this mother be a guide so sure as can all doubts resolve all truth secure then her infallibility as well where copies are corrupt or lame can tell restore lost canon with as little pains as truly explicate what still remains which yet no council dare pretend to do unless like esdras they could write it new strange confidence still to interpret true yet not be sure that all they have explained is in the blessed original contained more safe and much more modest tis to say god would not leave mankind without a way and that the scriptures though not everywhere free from corruption or entire or clear are uncorrupt sufficient clear entire in all things which our needful faith require if others in the same glass better see tis for themselves they look but not for me for my salvation must its doom receive not from what others but what i believe must all tradition then be set aside 
this to affirm were ignorance or pride are there not many points some needful sure to saving faith that scripture leaves obscure which every sect will rest a several way for what one sect interprets all sects may we hold and say we prove from scripture plain that christ is god the bold socinian from the same scripture urges he's but man now what appeal can end the important suit both parts talk loudly but the rule is mute shall i speak plain and in a nation free assume an honest layman's liberty i think according to my little skill to my own mother church submitting still that many have been saved and many may who never heard this question brought in play the unlettered christian who believes in gross plods on to heaven and ne'er is it a loss for the straight gate would be made straighter yet were none admitted there but men of wit the few by nature formed with learning fraught born to instruct as others to be taught must study well the sacred page and see which doctrine this or that does best agree with the whole tenor of the work divine and plainliest points to heaven's revealed design which exposition flows from genuine sense and which is forced by wit and eloquence not that tradition's parts are useless here when general old disinterest and clear that ancient fathers thus expound the page gives truth the reverend majesty of age confirms its force by biding every test for best authorities next rules are best and still the nearer to the spring we go more limpid more unsoiled the waters flow thus first traditions were a proof alone could we be certain such they were so known but since some flaws in long descent may be they make not truth but probability even arius and pelagius durst provoke to what the centuries preceding spoke such difference is there in an oft-told tale but truth by its own sinews will prevail tradition written therefore more commends authority than what from voice descends and this as perfect as its kind can be rolls down to us the sacred history which from the universal church received is tried and after for itself believed the partial papists would infer from hence their church in last resort should judge the sense but first they would assume with wondrous art themselves to be the whole who are but part of that vast frame the church yet grant they were the handers down can they from thence infer a right to interpret or would they alone who brought the present claim it for their own the books are common largesse to mankind not more for them than every man designed the welcome news is in the letter found the carrier's not commissioned to expound it speaks itself and what it does contain in all things needful to be known is plain in times o'ergrown with rust and ignorance a gainful trade their clergy did advance when want of learning kept the laymen low and none but priests were authorized to know when what small knowledge was in them did dwell and he a god who could but read and spell then mother church did mightily prevail she parcelled out the bible by retail but still expounded what she sold or gave to keep it in her power to damn and save scripture was scarce and as the market went poor layman took salvation on content as needy men take money good or bad god's word they had not but the priests they had yet whate'er false conveyances they made the lawyer still was certain to be paid in those dark times they learned their knack so well that by long use they grew infallible at last a knowing age began to inquire if they the book or that did them inspire and making narrower search they found though late that what they thought the priests was their estate taught by the will produced the written word how long they had been cheated on record then every man who saw the title fair claimed a child's part and put in for a share consulted soberly his private good and saved himself as cheap as e'er he could tis true my friend and far be flattery hence this good had full as bad a consequence the book thus put in every vulgar hand which each presumed he best could understand the common rule was made the common prey and at the mercy of the rabble lay the tender page with horny fists was galled and he was gifted most that loudest bawled the spirit gave the doctoral degree and every member of a company was of his trade and of the bible free plain truths enough for needful use they found but men would still be itching to expound each was ambitious of the obscurest place no measure tain from knowledge all from grace 
study and pains were now no more their care texts were explained by fasting and by prayer this was the fruit the private spirit brought occasioned by great zeal and little thought while crowds unlearned with rude devotion warm about the sacred viands buzz and swarm the fly-blown text creates a crawling brood and turns to maggots what was meant for food a thousand daily sects rise up and die a thousand more the perished race supply so all we make of heaven's discovered will is not to have it or to use it ill the danger's much the same on several shelves if others wreck us or we wreck ourselves what then remains but waving each extreme the tides of ignorance and pride to stem neither so rich a treasure to forego nor proudly seek beyond our power to know faith is not built on disquisitions vain the things we must believe are few and plain but since men will believe more than they need and every man will make himself a creed in doubtful questions tis the safest way to learn what unsuspected ancients say for tis not likely we should higher soar in search of heaven than all the church before nor can we be deceived unless we see the scripture and the fathers disagree if after all they stand suspected still for no man's faith depends upon his will tis some relief that points not clearly known without much hazard may be let alone and after hearing what our church can say if still our reason runs another way that private reason tis more just to curb than by disputes the public peace disturb for points obscure are of small use to learn but common quiet is mankind's concern thus have i made my own opinions clear yet neither praise expect nor censure fear and this unpolished rugged verse i chose as fittest for discourse and nearest prose for while from sacred truth i do not swerve tom sternhold's or tom shadwell's rhymes will serve end of section fifteen